Hello, and welcome to Virology Spring 2020 semester. I'm Dr. Johansson, and this video is going to give you an overview of the class and the syllabus and how to navigate Canvas. Um, so this semester is all about viruses, which um, was the basis of um, all my graduate and postdoctoral research. So I love viruses. I hope um, after this class you have this wonderful appreciation of viruses, not only how amazing they are, but how diverse they are and kind of how um, smart they are. So um, as you log on, you are here at the home page. Um, I will be rotating home pages usually every week to kind of be like, hey, this is what's going on this week. Um, giving you that kind of information. Uh, you can see on the right hand side of your screen over here is a list of um, all the stuff you have due so that helps keep tr you helps you keep track um, of what you need to um, be working on until we get to the discussions and we'll talk about that it's a, a little more complicated. So you should have clicked on this video right here I have your to-do list, so read through the syllabus, introduce yourself. Um, so yes, we're online, but I would love to get to know each of you, and, and it's helpful if you know each other too. So if you come over here and click on discussions, you will see and introduce yourself. Okay, um, so this is some extra credit for this class, and if you click on there, you will see exactly what you need to do to earn those points. So you need some kind of image up here. It doesn't have to be you. It could be of your dog or cat or horse or um, something that represents you. It just helps us when we're online to see some kind of visual and, and connect with that person. Um, then you will talk about your favorite biology class, what you want to do with your degree or your career, and a fun fact. Um, and if you want to upload a picture, like something bigger for us to see, that would be awesome. Um, it's, again, sometimes online classes feel a little impersonal, um, and so if we can get to know each other better, it makes it like a nice, tighter community. So what you'll do is you'll click on Reply, and that's where you start making your own post. That's how it works for all discussions. Um, so I made my post. Um, my fun fact is that I like to go to heavy metal concerts um, and get a little rowdy. So um, that is me. You can read a little bit more about me if you want. Um, and you can reply to people. You can say, hey, we had this class together. Or, hey, I'm also on this career path. Or, hey, Dr. J, you got to check out this band because it's pretty cool. Um, so sign up for a virus watch the intro videos, and work with your partners on your virus wiki. So let's talk about this class. This class, um, if you go to modules, I set them up in weekly or unit kind of modules, I guess we're not quite weekly here. Um, the important stuff module, the first one is where you find the syllabus, our schedule for all your due dates, um, the UCD academic calendar, information on how to do citations and access primary literature. Um, you'll see week one through four, you're going to be watching videos on some general virology information like what are viruses and how do they replicate and um, what does tissue tropism mean and, and things like that. I'll be um, adding a few more um, videos and you're going to take that general information and apply it to a very specific virus um, and that is what the wiki is called, okay? So wiki is where you can collaborate and put together information. Um, this is gonna be a great resource for all of us for this class. Um, and so you saw on the homepage, one of the first things you're gonna do is join a wiki group. And so I even have um, instructions and um, we'll, t we'll talk more about this um, a little bit later but um, this is a page where you guys can either form your wiki here or you can put a link to say you do it in a Google Docs something like that because in week five 
we're going to go through um, and read your wikis. So let's click on the lecture schedule. So um, I know this is kind of, sometimes I'm kind of random. Um, it's hard when I don't see students and people asking questions, so bear with me. Um, here is our class schedule. So week one through five is where you're taking general information from my lectures and applying it to a specific virus. And so you have weekly um, assignments, which is basically making parts of your wiki, um, and then I will go through and grade those. Um, you're going to work in groups of three, so you're not doing this all by yourself. Um, and then after we get kind of general information about viruses and you learn about a few viruses, we're going to delve into the primary literature. So you're going to see that those are in <laughs> two week chunks. We have four papers. Um, the first paper we're going to read is about the Ebola vaccine. We're going to read about SARS, um, dengue, and HIV. And then at the end of the semester, you're going to be writing your own research paper. So you're basically going to, I'm trying through the semester to train you on um, analyzing journal articles and um, kind of figuring them out and dissecting them and writing a paper. And then you're going to take those skills and write a little bit larger paper on a topic that you're interested in, in virology. So again, as we get to each of these different sections, um, I'll talk more about them. I don't want to overwhelm you um, too much. But one of the things I want you to anticipate is um, it takes time to read primary literature and to digest it and analyze it. So the way our two-week chunks are working for um, the research papers is you'll be assigned a paper and you'll be assigned a small group. And, and I have Canvas randomized groups so that you're going to be in different groups for each of the four papers so you get to work with different people in the class. Every paper at the beginning of our kind of two-week chunk you're going to have a journal article assignment where you're basically going through and working through the figures okay and this helps you um, kind of analyze the paper and helps you get ready for your discussions and then for most of this two weeks you participate in a small group discussion so um, you're gonna have um, four or five people in your group that you guys will make sure you understand the figures and make sure you understand the results and conclusions um, and, and kind of put this research into a big picture. And then at the end of the two-week discussion period you're going to write a news and views article which is kind of a summary of a part of the paper. So this is where you demonstrate your analytical and your writing skills to me. Um, and again, we'll talk more about this, but if you want to take a head start, there's a module journal articles, general information, and you can see what the um, assignments are and the expectations for the group discussions. So the reason I'm, I'm telling you about this now is um, this class takes a lot of time. It's different than studying. So you have no exams. Okay? You don't have to memorize anything. You don't have to um, really kind of learn, learn for an exam, um, anything. You're going to take what you're learning each week or each couple weeks and apply it to a writing um, assignment. So I want people to look through the course and make sure that you have the time and energy for this. Um, based on your work and life and other class schedule. Um, you will have to participate just about every other day in the group discussion. So you've got to make sure that that is something um, that you can be dedicated to. Um, I think online courses are challenging. It's a lot easier to just come to class and, and be there and be prepared for it versus um, kind of making up your own schedule and, and being consistent and um, devoting that time, or at least that's where I have an issue. Um, so that's kind of the general format of the class. Intro material and you're making a wiki. 
will read four papers together and discuss and analyze them, and then you will do your own research paper. Um, okay, so what you have set up right now is some stuff to look through um, and kind of get you um, going, uh, thinking about this class. Let's talk about the syllabus. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, <coughs> Um, I am on campus on Mondays and Wednesdays this semester, so in addition to virology online, I'm teaching cell biology online, and I'm teaching introduction to biotechnology um, Mondays and Wednesdays on campus. So I have Mondays and Wednesdays, 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. office hours that I'll always be here. Um, but if you want to come in and talk um, and those office hours don't work, send me an email and we'll try to find a a mutually agreeable time that we can get together. If my doors open outside of office hours, feel free to come by. My doors open, I'm here to talk to students. Um, I love to get to know you, so I would love it if you were on campus that we could find a time just to connect even for five minutes. Um, so you've all, in the course, so you've all had the prereq. Um, there is no textbook it's all going to be either online lectures or um, online readings. So nice, Doesn't, you don't have to pay anything besides tuition for this. Um, we've talked about the course plan. Oh, so best way to contact me is through email. I'm, I'm always checking my email. I don't give out my office number because I never check the voicemail. Um, send me an email. I'll get back to you within 24 hours, usually within a couple hours unless it's late at night and I'm in bed. I'm a, more of a morning person than a night person, although I'm kind of just not a any time of the day person anymore. I'd like to get up ideally at like eight, do some stuff for a little bit, take a nap, eat some dinner, do a little stuff, go to bed. <laughs> That's not how life works. Um, okay, so the way I communicate with the class is either through the homepage um, or announcements. And so you want to make sure you're getting your announcement. So you should have gotten an announcement that said the course is open um, in your email. If you didn't, then you need to make sure you go to your account on Canvas, notifications, and make sure announcements has this um, green checkbox. You don't want to miss out on anything that I may update or have a change or hey look at this. Um, if you don't get announcements you will see once I make my first announcement there will be an announcement tab over here that you can click on and you can always look over past announcements. Um, where am I? Alright, uh, so some of the learning outcomes. What we're going to talk about about viruses, um, your learning goals. So in 4,000 level classes, we want you to be able to um, read and analyze, dissect primary literature, um, do a lot of writing, um, find your own primary literature. You'll be doing that for your paper. Um, the goals also uh, let's see, I said writing, demonstrate critical thinking, that's your analysis, um, relate the topics of this course to contemporary issues, that's going to be the fun part, there's always viruses in the news. Um, yeah, these are kind of redundant. So, make sure you read through the syllabus, remember the syllabus is the contract between you and me for this course. Here you can see your breakdown of your grade, so your wiki um, work together constitutes about 24% of your grade. Um, your journal write-ups are a low percentage because it's really for completion, getting you to analyze that paper. Um, your news and views write-ups where you're actually showing me your analytical skills is worth a little bit more. Discussion is worth 24% of your grade. So discussion over those four papers, eight weeks. That's why I want to make sure people know that they can discuss four out of the seven days um, required. Um, then you have a final paper, which is 12%, a review, we'll talk about that. Um, and of course, do your extra credit just so we all get to know each other. Um, so introduce yourself as due February 2nd. 
I showed you where that discussion is. Here's the percentages for grades. Um, we now have to give pluses and minuses. I hate it, but whatever, got to do it. Um, and then as you read through the syllabus, it talks more and more about the details of your assignments. Okay, so make sure you read through that. It talks about participation. It talks about your final paper. Um, and then, of course, as for any class, if there are religious observation observances, I don't even know if that's a word, um, that will conflict with your participation in class or due dates, I need to know ASAP so we can make arrangements. Um, if you have accommodations through Disability Resource Services, I need to know that, but because um, we don't have time tests or anything that's like a short time due date um, and most of our work is group work, you really won't be able to use accommodations, but, but if you have them, we can discuss if you think that's going to be an issue. Then just all the regrades and posting of grades and um, academic integrity. Okay, so even at the 4,000, 5,000 level, so this is an undergraduate grad um, course, I have people plagiarize. Don't do it. There is nothing that I am asking you to explain that you can't put in your own words. There is nothing you need to take from the research papers and put into your news and views or your um, final paper. Put it all in your own words. Okay, that shows me your understanding, right? And when you don't, that's called cheating. Um, so if I have a two strike rule, the first time you are caught um, plagiarizing, um, you will get a zero for that assignment. And that means if you're doing the group wiki and I catch plagiarism, everyone in that group is going to get a zero and a strike. So don't do that to your classmates. And as classmates, make sure you guys are really working as a team and checking and reading each other's um, information. You can't copy and put a reference. That's still plagiarism. And we don't do quotes in science. So no quotes. So you can't quote something and put a reference. I won't take that. Okay, Everything in your own words, right? Um, there is a um, Turnitin uh, application that's used on Canvas to check for plagiarism. So it uh, helps me detect it, but a lot of times students will copy things and they're just weirdly worded. And I'm like, this doesn't sound like you're writing. And then I go find it on the internet somewhere. So please don't make me deal with uh, academic non-integrity. <laughs> um, communication, campus closures, incomplete grades, grievance policies, letters of recommendation, blah, blah, blah. Lots of stuff in the syllabus. So please, please, please read through the syllabus. Um, absolutely ask me if you have questions. Um, even though this is an online class, I am here for you guys. Um, I'm here to help you. I will read through discussions. I might interject sometimes or I might ask for clarification. Um, if you're confused about stuff, please ask me. Um, don't think you're off in space alone um, for this course. I think that is all I want to say right now. Um, I'm excited to get going. Um, and. Welcome to spring se semester. Spring semester, yes. All right. <laughs> I'll record another video again soon. Thanks. Bye.